The 11th of April 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruthie Nasegi and these are the stories making the headlines across the country. Starting off the bulletin is a story from Lira District where an anti-corruption activist who boldly accused the office of the resident district commission of Lira of being involved in acts of corruption before Lieutenant Colonel Edith Nakalema in Lira mid last month has been detained at Lira Central Police Station for a week now on the allegations of extortion of money. Mike Adoko, a resident of Iago Parish, was detained on April 4th, 2019, when he reported to police to find out what the matter was after hearing his name on local radio stations. When the Nakalema led State House Anti Corruption Unit visited Lira last month, Adoko accused the office of the RDC, DISO, and RISO of being involved in corruption acts. He also expressed fear that some whistleblowers are reportedly arrested in the area. Adoko said he is being fought by the people whose toes he stepped. Crossing over to Kitgumu district, now the Bishop of Kitgumu Diocese, of the Right Reverend Wilson Kitara, has finally received a card donated by President Yoram Seven last year. Kitgumu resident district commissioner Christopher Mara handed over the Gray Mitsubishi registration number UBE 846Z to the Bishop of All Saints Cathedral, Mikan, on Sunday. And now Kitgumu Spite MP Biri Sanyua, together with many jubilant Christians. Christians witnessed the brief ceremony. You're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruthina Seta. Take a break. Look at what is making the headlines into this copy of the New Vision. Now for those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Grip. And those with smartphones, just go to your Play Store, download the Vision Grip e-paper app and then register. From then, you can access all the products published by Vision Grip. You're still watching New Vision TV News. I am Ruth Inas. Let us continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. From Soroti District, government is set to commission the multi-million Soroti processing fruit factory in Arapai sub-county this Saturday. Construction of the factory kicked off in April 2015 and it was scheduled to have been completed in March 2016 to kickstart commercial production of processed mangoes and orange juice. The 48 billion shilling factory is a proposed government intervention aimed at supporting value addition in food processing for the production of industrial growth, income diversification and increasing household incomes in Teso subregion. Yudaya Kadodi, a senior economist at Uganda Development Corporation, recently discussed that the facility has a processing capacity of six tons of oranges per hour and two tons of mangoes for the same period of time. The factory is to process the improved variety of oranges ranging from Valencia, Hamlin and Washington Naval. Local mango varieties will not be processed. Closing off the bulletin is a story from Wakiso District where a plan to elevate entire municipality to city status has proved divisive among residents, including the leaders of Kajan City Town Council. In Tebe, which recently houses the State House, several garrison barracks and the International Airport is among the towns to be upgraded to city status effective July 1st. The two divisions, A and B, that currently make up the municipality are to become a single city division division, while Katabi and Kajansi town councils are to be marched to form another city division. But this plan has drawn mixed reactions from local leaders and the public in equal measure. During a stakeholders meeting in Kajansi on Tuesday, former parliamentary election contestant Grace Nakamanya said in Tebe 
that turning it in Tebe into a status would widen and, and improve the infrastructure network of the area. But Richard Luwama Mukubiansi, the chairperson of Namulanda Ward, said the move was not part of the second national development plan. Instead, he felt the Wakiso district in which Entebbe is located should be one turned into a city. According to the Local Government Act, an area must have a population of 500,000 people, facilities, institutions, developments and an enabling environment that attracts people to work and stay there. That's all I had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is The New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire, Instagram is at New Vision Wire, and our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth the Voice.